Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you a useful trick for your Roku TV so to be able to redirect the audio output of your Roku TV to your Bluetooth speakers without adding any additional hardware and without purchasing any Bluetooth dongle or the like. In fact, all you need to do this is your smartphone and the Roku application installed on your smartphone and both your smartphone and your Roku TV connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let me show you how to achieve this. So on your smartphone, launch the Roku application and then select remote control in the Roku application. If you have many Roku TVs in your household, select the TV that you want to control. So here I selected my TV, which is the living room TV. And here on your Roku application, you have an icon that is in the form of a headphone. So tap on the icon. So when you tap on the headphones icon, you see on your Roku TV this symbol. This symbol means that the audio output now of your Roku TV is redirected via the application to your smartphone. So anything you play now on your Roku TV, the audio will go from your smartphone. Now we have to connect the smartphone via Bluetooth to your Bluetooth speakers and this way the audio will travel from the TV to the smartphone and then to the audio speakers. So here I have my Edifier R1700 BTS speakers that are already in pairing mode in Bluetooth. So on my smartphone, which is an iPhone, of course it will also work on Android phone. I'm gonna go to settings and then under settings I'm gonna connect to my Edifier speakers. So now the speakers are connected to my phone and my phone is connected to the Roku. So let's start YouTube and play one of my videos and verify all this. So now the sound is playing through the speakers. The TV is connected to my phone and my phone is connected via Bluetooth to the speaker. Now, when you have this setup, you cannot control the volume anymore with the Roku remote control. So now if I lower or if I turn up the volume on the Roku TV, you will have this symbol. It will tell you that you need to control the audio output using the buttons on your smartphone. So this is it here. So if I turn up the volume, or if I turn it down, it will turn up and down. So this is one of the limitations of this connection method. And when you redirect the audio output from the Roku TV to the application, you have a small green dot on the top of the headphones icon, if you can see it. So this is how also you verify that the audio is connected to your application. So apart from controlling the volume, there is also one limitation to this method and that if you connect any HDMI source to your TV, you cannot redirect the audio to the Roku application. So this will work only on the applications that are installed on your Roku TV, including the live TV in case you have an antenna. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to take it a step further, you can support my channel by becoming a member. There are many members perks, you can check them when you click on the join button. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.